Hello, hello, hello. Happy birthday to you. Today is your birthday, September the 12th, 2022. I hope that you have a beautiful day, okay? Thank you so much for your support on the channel, and I hope you will stick around for other reasons. That's just for the Virgo today, September the 12th, 2022, birthday reading. And this birthday reading will be in a, um, a playlist. I'm going to have all the birthday readings for all the birthdays from um, August the 23rd up until September the 22nd. And after the season is over, I'm going to do an overall energy read for the entire Virgo clan, okay? We have the Ten of Pentacles starting out investing in something very, very deep, very, very serious for you. This is what you want. You want love, uh, but you know you want emotional stability for your life. You want it to be happy, but there's something about this that doesn't seem like you're getting everything you want out of life. But you, you, finances, or it could be better. Your finances will be getting better, but there's something you want to invest in. I'm hearing invest wisely, but you got to let something go. It's like you got to say, you know what? I got to get rid of this situation. It's not benefiting me any. And once you do that, that's when you're going to get the gold. That's when you're going to get everything you, you want. Because right now, whether it's a job or a situation dealing with your finances, it's not benefiting you. But when you drop something and, and let that go, let that energy wash away, that's when you're going to get what you really need, what you're really wanting, what you're really desiring, I'm hearing what you're really needing in your life. You gotta let this come to you softly, you know, but you're kind of cautious right now. And you want money, it's not happening the way you want to, it's kind of slow. I wanna start saving for my future. I wanna start saving for my retirement, but it's just not enough. The money's not coming in fast enough, okay? So, because you've done everything you think that you could possibly do, but there's always something else. There's something, I'm hearing there's always something better for you, Virgo. There's another option out there for you because you've already done it before um, and you've been working. A pro you've been a productive member of society so far. I'm hearing thus far. If there's something else out there for you and there's something you got to release in order to get this. OK, what do I need to let go in order to get this? What do I need to move on from with this five of pentacles? OK. It could be bad habits, spending money. It could be the job you're at, not paying enough. It could be maybe you're doing it and you're struggling at it all by yourself. Birthday message for Virgo, September the 12th, 2022. We have the Knight of Swords. I'm sorry, the King of Swords. I'm hearing the King of Wishful Thinking. You're holding on tight to something. You're, it's like maybe that's what you're doing. You're holding on to your thoughts and you're not making any desire. You're not have, you don't have the desire to move forward or you don't have the fortitude. It's like something is keeping you at that position in your mind. Um, it's like, I know maybe you need to save. Maybe you, you think like, damn, I need to start saving my money. I can't keep spending. I'm spending like I'm Rockefeller or something like that. And knowing I don't have it to spend, but I do it anyway, out of habit, stop spending. I need to save. I need to put some of this money away for a rainy day because my life is not going to be better if I don't. You know, so you got to start thinking a little bit more. Um, I'm hearing prudent with the funds, Virgo. You got to start saving because, you know, you're getting older and you're getting up in age. OK. Uh, and you say, you know what? I'm holding myself back, you know, out of fear, you know, um, until some of you may be hoarding money and maybe spirit wants you to go out and just it just splurge. You've got to a point to where you saved a lot of money. Um, now it's time for you to go just buy something, take yourself on a vacation or a trip or something. You still have money put away. You're going to have money put away. You take a little of and go buy yourself a new wardrobe or something. We also have the emperor and the nine and the 10 of cups. This is saying, I want a relationship. I want love. I want something that, that I can be happy in, but I'm so afraid. I'm afraid, but I'm ready for this. I'm ready for a commitment. I'm ready to recommit myself to love. We have here. The Eight of Swords. So this is something that you've been thinking about, but you're afraid. I'm afraid to love. I'm, I just, I just can't put myself out there. I don't even want to be in a relationship, you know. But there's some, some other glowing opportunity out here for you. This person that's coming into your life, they're going to invest wisely in, in, in you within the connection. But they're going to be there, be able enough to take care of you. You're going to take care of each other. You're going to say, "Job well done, baby." Job well done. We've filled up all of these cups with all of our dreams and all of our imaginations. We've we've been able to store so much away. Now we can retire together and and 
worry free about the bills. Don't have any bills to worry about because we're doing this together. You're not alone. I'm not alone. We're in this together. We're happy. We're in blissful situations. We can go celebrate. We can have a good time. We can go on vacation. We have attained bliss in our lives, bliss in our relationship. And I thank you for it, baby. Okay. So you're getting what it is that you want. Your wishes are fulfilled, you know, but you want more and, and you need to start saving. Don't spend so much of what it is you're making. Start putting some away. It's time for you to stop spending frivolously, okay? Stop spending just because you have it. If you can afford to, yeah, but if you don't, if you're living from, from paycheck to if you're living from paycheck to, to paycheck, okay, it's okay to treat yourself every now and again, but set your financial intentions for wanting more for yourself when it comes to your money, okay? Set those intentions. And you are looking at this reading for a reason. Virgo, on your birthday or whenever you decide to watch it, you probably just say, I'll watch it. I'm busy. I'm happy having fun on my birthday, but I'm going to watch it. But this is all about you saving money or if you or if you can afford to splurge a little bit. You don't have to spend it all. Just you deserve to, to spend. OK, because abundance is your right. Abundance is all yours, Virgo. And listen, the person who's coming into your life, their abundance is also your right. And your abundance is their right because you're going to be one. You're going to become one. Like attracts like. You want to meet that person who's going to carry you through. They're going to meet you and you're going to carry them through. Set your intentions for this, this financial blessing that you already have and that you are yet to receive. Birthday message for Virgo, September the 12th, 2022. See, practice moderation in what you do with that money. If you have money saved, it's okay to go take yourself to a, on a vacation. Didn't say spend it all, of course. If you have issues with money, save it. Stop overly spending, okay? Stop spending what you don't have. Practice moderation. We have here... Patience is a virtue. You're going to get whatever you want in your life. You're going to get everything, but it takes time. You know, it's patience. The virtue doesn't come overnight, Virgo. It just doesn't. We're living in a real, the real world. It takes time. Okay, it takes time. Give us some overall energy for Virgo. Saving money or spending what you have, but not all of it. We have to express your feelings. Thoughts create your reality. Maybe you want to talk to a therapist or maybe talk to a trusted friend. And I'm worried about my, my future. I'm worried about my future finances. I'm still single. I, I don't have any money put away for when I get older and I don't know what's going to happen. I'm worried about it. Or your friends probably tell you, you know, you make a good bank. You got some money in the bank. You know, why don't you just go and buy yourself a new outfit or go on a trip, a trip, a cruise or something or, or do something you know, that you want to do because you deserve it, you know? So it's like some have it and some don't. And those who do have it are afraid to lose it, okay? But you know what? This is your life. Abundance is your, it, abundance is your right. Semester for birthday, Virgos, September 12th. Nine of points, nine of pentacles. You know, uh, I think that you 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 just gearing up for the worst, you know, when it comes to your finances because you don't think that it'll ever get better. But this is you having a, a, a zest for life and find and finding the 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 best that you can possibly find, like top tier stuff, a top tier lifestyle. This is what you want. This is what you desire. But this is something that you could actually have financial and material comforts, and your finances and stuff are being met. Because this is all up in your energy, okay? You can have anything you want, okay? Anything you desire. I'm hearing you are the sign of plenty, Virgo. You are the sign of plenty. We have her justice. We have here the... So I think that at some point you're going to realize, like, I know I need to save. I'm going to start saving. I'm going to be persistent at that because persistence pays off. And I'm going to reward myself because I saved so much of mo so much money in my bank account. I can take a little bit out, <coughs> excuse me, and then not leave a dent in that, in that account. So you have to really decide what it is you want to do. <coughs> excuse me, you all. I've been reading quite a while today. <coughs> we have the justice and we have... 
the, not, the, the ace of wands. So you want to make the conscious decision to say, you know what, if I save, I know I can look at my account a year from now and see how much for I've grown. This is you, your new beginnings and having a creative spark around your income and your finances and having all of these different ideas of how you can save and not touch that money. OK, just save or splurge, whatever end of the spectrum you're on, you deserve it bottom of the deck. So possess the self-confidence to do what you feel is best with your finances. All right. I hope this message resonates with you. Thank you so much. Happy birthday today. And I'll talk to you later.